What's up everyone out there in Dude Nation, Monkey Dude 22 here for another Xbox support tip. And in this video today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to get rid of that took too long error that you sometimes see on your Xbox One console. So when you see this error, what does it mean? Well, of course, for starters, as the error states, a game or app took longer than expected to start up and it was closed down. It could also mean that there's a temporary problem with Xbox Live or there's a sign-in issue with your profile. We'll cover all of these scenarios in this video, so no matter what the reason, I'm sure this video will help you get that issue taken care of. Let's start with the first solution. Start up the game or application again. Yeah, I know it sounds simple, but sometimes things just don't boot up properly, and starting the app again after a few seconds will sometimes work. So give it a shot first, just to see if it helps. The second solution starts with checking that the Xbox Live services are up and running without any issues. To do this, you'll want to open up a web browser and navigate to xbox.com. From xbox.com, on the taskbars up here, you're going to want to click on Xbox Support, and Xbox Live status. From this screen here, you'll want to ensure that there is no purchase or content usage issues going on right now. If there is any known issues going on, you'll see a message like this, and it'll tell you exactly when the latest update was, and also what the actual issue is. So it's a great resource to take a look at to see if there's any known issues going on currently. If everything checks out here, what you're going to want to do next is a hard reset or power cycle on the console. If you have any open apps or games at this point, make sure you save any data before you do the power cycle. Now to do a power cycle or a hard reset as it's sometimes called quickly, just hold the power button on the console for about 5 or 6 seconds or until the console powers off fully. Let the console rest for another minute or so and then power on the console again to see if it helped. If that worked for you? Great. If not, let's check a few other things on the console. Ask yourself a question. Where is the gamer app installed on the console? Is it installed on the internal hard drive or maybe to an external hard drive or USB storage device? If you answered external, then the next step is to determine if there's a problem with the external device. So power down the console again by holding the power button on the console and then remove the external storage device. Then turn the console back on and download a fresh copy of the game to your internal hard drive. If that did the trick, then you'll want to begin troubleshooting your external device. It's possible that the device is malfunctioning and either needs to be reformatted or the game is corrupt and needs to be reinstalled. Of course, the nice thing about your Xbox One is that the saved data is also stored in the cloud as long as you're connected to Xbox Live. So don't worry so much if you need to uninstall a game and then reinstall it. Your saved data will sync back up with you when you launch the game again. Okay, so if you've been able to resolve the issue with all of the previous steps, fantastic. If not, then we still have another step to try, which is performing a factory reset on the console. Make sure to use the option to keep your games and apps when you're making your selection. Here's how to do it. Once you know that you're ready to restore the Xbox One to factory defaults, go ahead and on the dashboard, press left on the controller to open up the guide. Then scroll down and highlight and press A on settings. From the settings menu, press System, and then Console Info and Updates. On this screen here, you'll see a few more details about your console, including the OS version, but go ahead and highlight and press A on Reset Console. Now, from this screen, we have three options, so listen carefully. The first option is to reset and remove everything. All user data, including accounts, saved games, settings, home Xbox associations, and all games and apps will be deleted. You should use this option when selling or gifting the console to someone else. You should only use this option as a last resort in some troubleshooting cases. The next option is to reset and keep my games and apps. You should use this option as your primary choice when troubleshooting. It will reset the OS and delete all potentially corrupted data without deleting your games or apps. This will save you from downloading or reinstalling the large game files. In some cases, if a corrupt game file is causing the issue you're troubleshooting, you may have to choose reset and remove everything. But you should always start with reset and keep my games and apps and then save, reset, and remove everything as a last resort. And of course, the third option is cancel. You can go ahead and select this to back out of this screen. No action has been taken at this point, so this is a safe exit from this screen. After you select one of the options, your Xbox One console will begin the process of erasing the selected content and resetting itself to the default settings. And that's all there is to it. After doing the factory reset on the console while keeping your games and apps, try to launch the game again to see if it helps. 
If you're still seeing the issue at this point, then there's likely a bigger issue going on with the console itself that needs to be addressed. So you'll want to contact official Xbox support either through the chat or phone teams for more troubleshooting steps. I'll have a link in the description box with more contact information should you need to do that. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful in getting rid of that took too long error on your console. If you did find success with this video though, please drop a thumbs up and like this video and share it with your friends who may also be having the same issue. Together as a community, we can certainly help each other out and get back to this greatest hobby in the world, gaming. If you'd like to see more content like this though, consider subscribing to my channel as I post new content weekly, if not daily. I cover all sorts of Xbox support issues as well as do Let's Plays and other content, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks again for watching everyone, I'm MonkeyDo22, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.